This is SOS Reality. I'm Squish. I'm Smitty. <laughs> Guys, before there was Nikki Tutorial, there was Hannah Mouncey. People, I just want to let y'all know, this is when feminism meets equality. We're going to roll some of this beautiful bean footage. <laughs> let's keep going. Let's hear, let's hear from them. Let's see what they got to say. To be a champion footy player, it helps to have the athletic weapons of size, strength, and a mighty kicking boot. Hannah Mouncey certainly ticked those boxes and was in demand by the top clubs to play in the women's AFL. But the AFL said no. It decided she was ineligible for its competition because at six foot two and weighing 100 kilograms, she was too much of a physical threat to her opponents. Now, while it might seem like a clear case of discrimination, it's not that simple. You see, Hannah wasn't born a girl, but a boy. Up, up, Holly. Nice and high. For most athletes, being the toughest player on the team is a distinct advantage. But for Hannah Mouncey, her greatest strength is also her biggest weakness. All I'm doing is being myself, which, you know, you hope 99% of the population are able to do every day, and play football, which people have done in Australia for 150 years. You know, those two things combined shouldn't be a huge issue. At six foot two and weighing 100 kilos, the Australian Football League has ruled that Hannah is too powerful to play in its elite. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> what are we doing here, people? Hey, you know what, though? This needs to happen. This needs to happen. The, the, you know the argument? I remember it was an argument. You remember this dumb argument? You remember they were talking about how uh, Ronda Rousey could beat Floyd Mayweather yes. in a fight? Yes. And then we watched Floyd Mayweather beat the crap out of, well, play hooky. For about what three, four rounds, no, then no, beat no, the no, crap no, about seven, out of about seven. about seven to get some money, mm -hmm. then beat the crap out of Conor McGregor. Yep. This argument has the die, guys. Go, go ahead, Smitty. Okay, Hannah is the perfect example, feminist. If y'all want to do equality, I have no problem with it. We can have a lot more cases like this. Six foot two, two hundred and twenty-five pounds. Thirty. <laughs> she is, you know how big she is. She's bigger than a lot of running backs in the NFL. Now, think about that. Bigger than a lot of running backs. She's better than Ezekiel Elliott. She's better than, bigger than uh, Saquon Barkley. And y'all have to deal with that because it's equality. If we go to the gym right now and I'm picking teams, Smitty, I'm picking Hannah over you. And if I get caught on her with the block, I'm asking for a double team. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> The game's got to stop. When you see, you you starting to see a trend going on with the little loophole that people are finding to play in sports. Let's get this right. I'm going I'm to say this. Women and men are equally as important, but we are not equally designed. Is that, that a good way of putting it? That is. Perfect. We're happy. not equally designed. We don't need to see. Can y'all imagine Hussein Bolt <laughs> going on a wig and running down there and taking off on everybody? Like, this is becoming a, a Smith show. Now, th this is what I want to say. You can't cherry pick if you want to say everything's equality feminism. I mean, feminist. You can't cherry pick. So, you can't cherry pick and say, this is unfair. But then, when we tell you about other situations like this is that y'all cannot do. Or can they, cannot do physically. And then, you get upset and say, you're being chauvinist. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. I'm just saying. I mean, you just can't. You can't cherry pick. Do you want to watch some more of this beautiful bean footage? I sure do. Let's let I'm, er enjoy I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Let's let Brian Erlocker <laughs> continue. <laughs> this competition. Because she was once a man. I also don't agree with what the AFL has done. You know, there's a dozen girls within a couple of centimetres of my height. So I certainly wasn't the tallest. With this, the AFL today has denied transgender athlete Hannah Mouncey. Hannah is at the centre of a heated row over equality in sport. Men believe it, did you? Now I'm going to say this. This is just me personally. If I'm a dad, say I got a daughter, and we walk down to any sport, and Hannah's out there, I'm calling my daughter back up. <laughs> the event's over. We're going home. 
I'm not playing my daughter play against somebody that look like they ate Son Michaels. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm say this. Yeah, it, the slippery slope is it, it's so slippery of a slope because then you're gonna start having dudes that's six, eight, six, nine that transition over and they're gonna be playing in WNBA and then they're gonna be dunking on everybody. Yeah. So I, so, I mean, it, it's a slippery slope. That's all I'm saying. If she's playing WNBA basketball, I'm going to squish the dunk it when I come down the lane and just throw the ball up. And then she's dunking every play. No, that's Shaq. Oh, Shaq? Yeah, that's, that's Shaq. pretty much Shaq. That's Shaq. You remember the LeBron pose when Dwayne Wade throws his hands up? Oh, and LeBron, yeah. Every time. Every yeah. play. <laughs> we got we to gotta start being more realistic. Me and you need to start our own ism. I, like common sense ism uh, or something. I, I just want to say this. When I first, he told me about this story before I seen it. <laughs> and I was like, man, okay, yeah, whatever. We'll do a story. I'll let you talk about it. Then when I seen it, I instantly called him back. And I was like dying <laughs> laughing. I was like, oh my God, this is Jim Brown playing handball with women right now. I'm dying. <laughs> The Jim Brown of the game. The white Jim Brown of the game. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm done, man. Like, we, we just need to be a little more realistic when, when we're, we're putting things together, man. Let's, the picking and choosing thing has to stop, though. It uh, has to stop. Well, it, it, it's the perfect example of how feminists cherry pick. I, I, I'm really glad you brought this story out because mm -hmm. it actually can show... This is a perfect example of how they cherry picking because now they're saying it's unfair. It's unfair. And, and it's not and, equal. And it's well, we've been saying it's not yeah, equal. Yeah, we know it's not equal. But 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 they don't want to hear that. They saying when we say stuff, certain things are not equal, and then you get upset when we tell you that, you're being delusional. Let me say this one more time. Men and women are equally as important, but we are not equally designed. If you have a problem with that, you have to argue against nature. If you believe in God, God. Whoever designed humans, if you have a problem with that, that's the issue you have to take with that. But we are not equally designed. I, this shouldn't even be an argument. I'm, you know, we've had plenty of arguments with girls that say some stuff you like. Are you serious? I used to be, uh, oh, again, you know, I used to be against it. Be like, this is so unfair. But now I'm, I'm, I'm for it. I, I just want to get the point across. No, 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 I'm for it now. You would? I'm for, I'm for it now. I'm like, I, I want to see how far y'all go. Yeah, I, I want to see, since y'all want this, I want to see how far y'all go. I want to see how far this is going to go. So we all know this is not right. We all know this is not right. But since y'all want to take it there, I, I wanted to go all the oh. way there. Oh, uh, sweetie, go ahead and throw you a wig on and get the girls hey, in the average 20 and 20. I'm telling you. Maybe 40 and 40. So, <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. Um, but you know another thing too, uh, I wanted to bring up on this. I've been saying since they came out that transgenders is transitioning, they should make their own. Oh sport. yeah, I think they should have their own name. They, they transgender because sport. Cause yeah, because they're, they're not gonna be elite, elite enough to be with the males. Yeah, but they're gonna be super elite with, with the, the females. females. Yeah, so I think they should have their own name. But I do too. Yeah. Until then, I think we should let, let them just just rap. until then <laughs> let them break every record. <laughs> let them break every record possible. <laughs> Hey, one of them gonna get out there for track, and it haven't happened. No, yet. the two girls, the two. They no, 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 no. Hear me out. Okay. That's I mean, Olympic level. Okay. And they okay. gonna break Flo Joe's record, and when that happens, I guarantee that's when they change it. Once again, I don't want to see Hussein boating the wig out there, <laughs> and we like, come on, man. Like, let, let's cut the crowd, people. Let's start using common sense when we put things together, man. Uh, Hannah. Keep fighting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Australia. We it's love you. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love you, Australia. <laughs> oh, this is like the third great thing that happened from Australia right now, man. All I have to say. Well, my two homeboys that live in Australia, uh, what up if y'all look at Yeah, yeah, what's video. up? Yeah. G and, uh, and Giannis. Giannis, I don't know where you went to. You just fell off the face of the planet. But... I am very entertained by y'all, the Aussies. Yeah, man. I mean, guys out there knocking around kangaroos with their hands. When you ever see the dog getting wrestled up by the kangaroo? What, yeah, yeah. What about that the was kangaroo the that, that, that just whooped the hell out the dude that fell out? Oh, there. that was coming <laughs> in the, the parachute and the kangaroo attacked yeah, him. Yeah. That was hilarious. <laughs> that was hilarious. But we thought this was an interesting story, man. This is on 60 Minutes. This was about two years ago. So yeah, I'm was actually surprised ago. this didn't make more waves and headlines than well, it, it Well, it was 60 Minutes Australia. Yeah. Um, but we didn't hear about it in the States too much. No, not too much. You okay. have to research it and you have to go through YouTube and do yeah. things to see it. But it's a very interesting story. It really is. Hannah, keep fighting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Before we end this video and y'all get on here and get mad at it again, I'm going to say this. Men and women are equally as important, but they are not what, Smitty? 
equally designed. Yes. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying women are less than men. I'm not saying that. Uh, hit the like and subscribe button. Leave your comment down below. Even if you think it's trash on the yard. Uh, this story right here is not trash on the yard. This story right here is excellent. Yeah. I'm really glad you brought this story up. This reminds me he's built like a, every 80s cartoon superhero back in the day. I don't believe you ever remember Brave Star, Speed of a Puma, Ears of a Wolf, Strip of a Bear, and Nick, whatever. <laughs> Brave Star! <laughs> Our new saying is gonna be, because until they bring this movie out, because they're supposed to be redoing it. Uh huh. I have the power of what? What? Oh, uh, what you talking about? Oh, Grey Star? Grey Star! I have the power of Grey Star! Oh, Grey Star. <laughs> we got Skeletor and He Man and one back there, man. I'm done! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna end this um this show right here. This is SOS Reality. Um, it's very entertaining. Subject over Hannah Monsi. Hannah Monsi, keep fighting. We love you, Australia. Leave your like, comment, and leave your com well leave your comments below. Hit the like and subscribe button. SOS Reality. I'm Smitty. Nah, you're not Smitty. Okay, I'm Squish. <laughs> I'm Smitty. <laughs> Y'all have I'm a good one. I'm by the power of Christ. Oh! <laughs> uh -huh.